Hello, this is MCC Daytona. My name is Nick Lopak. We are the Embry Riddle Suit Lab, and today we are testing Luna Moth. Can I get a comm check? Yeah, I'm Suit Lab. This is Red Dog. I've got you loud and clear. Do that. All right, we're going to begin with a quick test setup. If you could uh, get our device mounted to your utility belt, I think it is already. I see that. Okay, if you could just confirm that your right hand can reach the camera and grab it by the stock. Good there. Okay, uh, you can remove your hand from the camera, and we're going to start with a quick familiarization session. Uh, so, just a quick overview of the tool. Uh, for attachment and detachment of the camera, you're going to move the tool up and down in a vertical motion relative to the uh, utility belt. Uh, so, grab the camera by the side, by the handle. We'll try a detachment. So, you just have to pull vertical upward. Yeah, so you want to stabilize the utility belt here. And uh, you know, the camera looks like a wobble. Maybe you try grabbing it by the bottom plate. Yeah, the camera. There it is. So that looks a bit easier. I think the camera's a little unstable on that plate. If you want to try grabbing by the bottom of the plate uh, from now on, you can try it with the camera again. So to like, attach it, you just do it just like that and try to maintain a vertical alignment to. There you go. What was that? All right. so you've just done a detachment and attachment, if you want to practice that twice more. Okay. Got it. All right. Are you comfortable with the detachment and attachment process? Yep. Sure. Uh, is one-handed uh, detachment a little diff tricky due to the stability of the utility belt? Is that too difficult? Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a problem on the attachment points of the, the belt. And the camera's a little loose in the bracket, so, uh, kind of requires two hands from that standpoint. Uh, so, we're going to move on to, uh, primary for test one. So, try to look away from, in the, towards the horizon. Don't look directly at the tool. Make sure it's out of your line of sight. An attachment and detachment. So, detach and attach without looking. Alright. Alright. Detach is no problem. And attach. Excellent. So now, if you could repeat that one more time, maybe keeping your glove a little bit further away from the moth, uh, the device itself, possibly further down. Or yeah. Attachment and go for an attachment looks good and to confirm it's properly attached once it's in you want to push down until it can't move anymore okay. that, That's how you confirm it, uh, good, you know, attach. So mm -hmm. you could rate this uh, ease of use for detachment out of sight on a scale of one to five one being super easy five being very difficult ease of detachment uh, Detach is a two. It's a it's a little sticky, but uh it's still pretty straightforward to do, and it's easy to do one-handed, and it's easy to do uh, out of line of sight. Okay, now can you rate the same ease of attachment? Uh, uh, I will give attachment a two. Uh, actually, it pops in a little easier than it pops out. Uh, and uh, the bottom brush is not too bad, uh, especially with a little bit of training. Uh, But you do have to kind of get it pretty much on target, so I'd give it a two. Right to here. All right, so we're going to move into secondary testing. Uh, of mission interest, maybe some cool rock in the distance. And I want you to do your best lunar parkour on the way over there and observe how the tool moves in the belt. Uh, see if it's shaky at all and do some lunar parkour.
Well, first place table. Didn't pop out. Didn't feel like it was going to pop out. Okay. Yeah, good to hear. All right. Uh, so we're going to do some further movement testing. So with your feet firmly planted, shake your, shake your hips vigorously. Kind of just back and forth. Try to shake that tool belt. Uh, see if the, there's any movement. In the just kind of shake around. Is this part of the test or just to get black metal material? No, no, this is this is serious testing in the end. Some hardcore space testing. Okay, that will confirm that. Uh, next, uh, if you could bend both knees into a squat, stand up quickly. Right. And do that once more. Or just on that it looks looks to be stable. So now we're going to do a, as high as possible. If you could do a vertical lunar jump. Okay. And you can repeat that one if you want. All right, final move, mobility test. If you could kneel down on one knee and then lean towards the ground, you can kind of reach for a rock or something. Just try to lean on the side of the tool. Yeah, just like that. And looks good there. Yeah. And any impediment? Yeah, it looks good. Head him into that movement. Right. Uh, so now, if you can return to standing. Rate the stability of the tool while attached on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being very stable, 5 being unstable. And um, repeat the scale again. It's very stable, 5 being very unstable. Uh, it was a 1, very stable, very stable. And uh, now, if you could detach the camera. Clear you. Okay. A picture in the distance. Take a picture, rotate um, your body to another point of interest, take another picture, and stop the tool. So you kind of you're a photographer in, in impersonation, and then stow the tool between each picture and see how it is. Just so you can see the All right. Yeah, that's a little challenging to stow. You know, without knowing precisely what it is, so without a bit of training and um, making all the swing arm where it moves, it's not bad, but. Yeah, it, it, if you kept the swing arm in that position and don't touch the swing arm when you attach it, could you recall where it is to kind of attach it? Yeah. All right. It, so it's not bad, it's not bad at all. To our final testing phase, dust testing. Uh, you can choose one of the bins nearest to you. Uh, we'll have you detach uh, the entire assembly so using the bayonet, the camera, Luna Moth, and uh, try to submerge the entire Luna Moth assembly. Don't worry about submerging the camera. That the Luna Moth are submerged done. And just confirm once that's been done. All right, hold the camera in the dirt. Excellent. So you can remove the entire sample to your body, and if you could cycle them off ten times, uh, feel free to use sight and see if it's All right. And DV1, this is TD. Just a reminder, I'll be handling rocks with the gloves. They don't want you picking up those rocks, because they might have sharp edges on them. Okay? Cycle. Second. Yeah, my camera's just a little loose. Kind of makes it a pain. Uh, not noticing much difference. Okay. Having been submerged in that particular simulator. Just a lot of 
a lot of looseness in the system between my belt and the camera itself. Sure. Yeah, to aid, to aid in that, the tool side uh, should be definitely vertically aligned. That looked like a smooth attachment, just like that. And uh, we're coming up on our time. Is that, can I get a confirmation on that? That our time is just about. Three minutes. Three minutes. Copy that. Yes. If you'd like to leave any further comments on the system, uh, maybe try. Um, it seems that the utility belt is fairly unstable, um, but that's okay. So, uh, in terms of just the Luna Moth itself, how does it feel to remove? And, like, is it is it smooth? Is it the appropriate amount of force? Uh, it's actually it's a decent amount of force. It it <sighs> tough to tell. Um, when I grab the grab the camera by the bracket. It, it actually pops out pretty well. It, it goes in with the snap it in, but I think that is actually good. It, you know, you know that it's in there securely, so I think overall it's a, it's a, it's a good amount of force both ways. Right. If the utility, can you imagine the Luna Moth uh, on a fixed location on the suit? If it didn't move around, would you build maybe some muscle memory with the location? It might not be as difficult to attach. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, it would be pretty easy. We're just a little bit of training. Right. Do you appreciate the ease of use of not interacting with the moth, uh, or would you prefer a hard lock on the tool itself so that you can you know, keep it perfectly uh, secure? Yeah, I appreciate not having a lock, so not having a secondary motion. I think it stays in place pretty well, and, uh, you know, if I dropped it, I could just go pick it up. I don't know, it's probably difficult for you to see, but did you notice any dust sticking to the device anywhere upon removing? If you like, you can test that again. Uh, no, in this simulator, this simulator did not really stick here in the water, so... Sure. Um, okay, yeah, we're pretty ahead on time. Uh, if you want to just continue uh, attaching and detaching, we need less feedback. Um, if not, uh, I'll allow uh, uh, some extra time to get us ahead of schedule. But we appreciate you testing it. Sure. Well, look forward to the remainder of your feedback later. Thank you. And have a riddle date time.